Climate change is something that's all around us. It's just not always apparent. It's even less obvious that every day we make decisions contributing to the demise of our own culture and planet. Here in the Pacific Northwest, salmon are everywhere, in our food, our art, and especially our history. Yet when we pick up a Chinook at the market, we don't always recognize that the drive there contributed to the very thing that threatens their existence. And that disconnect is pervasive in our society. If we want our culture to remain as rich as it is today, we need to start looking at how our actions of today will affect tomorrow. When we hear about climate change in the news, we often hear about the expected rise in temperature, changes in precipitation patterns, and the decrease of snowpack. According to the Climate Impacts Group at the University of Washington, by the 2050s, the average year in the Puget Sound region is anticipated to be between 4.2 and 5.5 degrees warmer than the period from 1970 to 1999. That can mean unusual precipitation patterns and a decline in snowpack. And these predictions are frightening to me. Here in the Puget Sound, salmon are integral to our culture. They are part of the spiritual and cultural identity of our local Native American tribes and a boon to our economy. Salmon are not only a symbol of our region, but they also provide a livelihood for many people. But climate change is already threatening this fundamental part of the Pacific Northwest. Salmon rely on cool stream temperatures to sustain high dissolved oxygen levels, but with the projected increase in global temperature, stream temperatures are anticipated to increase as a result. The Climate Impacts Group states the amount of river with August stream temperatures that exceed the thermal tolerances for adult salmon is projected to increase by over a thousand miles by the 2080s. I've always loved learning about salmon as a way to better understand the environment, and it scares me that this opportunity for education might cease to exist. What bothers me even more is that salmon, an iconic feature of our area, might be so threatened that our culture and our economy will suffer, leaving negative effects for future generations. To me, climate change is alarming. Not only does it disrupt our way of life, but it demonstrates just how easy it is to let what's most important to us slip away. So if we really value the unique facets of our world, we might want to make a change.